everyone, it's Anya here at Our Gabled Home where I like to share tips for a simple, beautiful, healthy and sustainable living. In today's video, I would like to share with you how to make elderberry juice. I have some jars here and it's actually really easy to make so let me show you how I do that. Elderberry juice is known for its immune boosting and health promoting properties. Um, people have used it for uh, centuries to promote their health and um, I just find it really tasty but it also helps during the cold and flu season. It um, helps boost your immune system and it's full of antioxidants and it's just purely yummy. What I do to make the juice is I use a steam juicer and if you've never seen one of those it consists of three parts there's a bottom portion that's the bottom pan and you fill that up with water and I'm gonna take this one out so you can see what's going on in the next portion the next middle pan looks like this so it has a cone in the middle with a hole in it and it has the silicone tube attached to it and if you're wondering what that green duct tape is doing we had rats where we keep our steam juicer and the rats started chewing little holes in it i have a replacement tube coming in the mail but i didn't have that for this video so that's why the green duct tape is here that sits right on top of the bottom pan. and then you have the top portion that looks essentially like a big colander with holes in it that goes right on top of this one and the lid. And what you'll do is you'll fill the bottom pan with water. I wouldn't fill it all the way up because if it boils over, it's gonna spill on your stove. But you also want to make sure while you're making juice, and this can take, depending on how many berries you do, this can take about half an hour or maybe an hour that you always have water in the bottom pan and i've heard people using marbles they make a different sound when they're sitting in water versus when the water has all evaporated and then the marbles make a difference on i've never used it um, i'm sure i have um, gone out of water once but um, i'm pretty good usually to check the water level your elderberries go into the top portion here and because i like to make things a little quick and simple i don't de-stem the berries now you can do that you can just use a fork and take the berries off of the stems and then you only have berries in here you'll probably fit a lot more in here i just dump the berries with the stems and the leaves i take most of the leaves out but mostly with the stems i put them in the top portion and then you set this thing on the stove turn the stove to about medium hot you don't want a roaring boil but you obviously want water boiling and steam rising through that cone and once the steam gets into the berries it makes the berries release their juice and when that happens you'll see that the um, juice will sit in the hose and the clamp is here so that the juice doesn't flow out and that's all you do you um, have some jars make sure to sterilize them before you use them and as you can see i have some regular mason jars i have something um i don't know where i got this jar from and then i have these uh, juice jars and all of them have tops that will seal so um, as you press on here you'll notice that you can't press them in if you can actually press them in then you don't have a proper seal um, you can still use the juice, you just put it in the refrigerator and use it within about a week or so. And um, you can also use the regular mason jaws, but just make sure that you do have a proper seal. And then you just set this on the stove and let's take it from there. So here's my elderberry bush where I pick the elderberries. We have a white coating on them, which is completely natural. Here you can see the elderberries forming, but not quite ripe. 
and on the same bush, at the same time, we have some elderflowers. And because I didn't get to juicing the elders right away, I had frozen them and placed them frozen right into the top portion of my steam juicer. And here I am ready to fill the juice in my bottles and jars. I'm opening the clamp to let the juice flow into the jar. Obviously the jar has been sterilized and it's hot and the juice is hot so I'm using pot holders. want to fill the juice pretty much all the way up to the top of the bottle or the jar to create a proper seal and vacuum and yes it is a little bit exhausting to hold the jar or the bottle while you're filling it. Takes a little bit of patience to fill the jars and the bottles. And so here we are almost to the top of the bottle. Here it is, the black purple goodness with the lid on. And here's a picture of the elderberries once you're done steaming them and have juiced them all the way down. If you have some elderberry bushes and you don't want to juice them and just make some jam, I do have a blog post on how to make a simple elderberry jam. I'll be linking that in the description box below. I'll also be linking on where you can get this steam juicer. Um, this one may not necessarily be the cheapest one out there. My husband researched it for me and we found that this was the one that fit our needs and budget the best. There are some cheaper ones out there as I said and um, just see what works best for your situation. You can hop on over to my blog where I have a full post about how to make elderberry juice. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I make new content every week. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you here next time.